good afternoon and welcome to Ohio and the Windy Hill County. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Who wound you up and turned you loose? I know it. I know. I know. You have always been my vocal person. I know it. So anyway, this is Bindi's kids. These are all sold if you're seeing this on YouTube. Uh, I know, I know. I know, you very much need to be the center of attention. I know that. I have been with you for weeks. Yes, you've been in my house for weeks. These were never raised down in the kennel. We raised these completely up here in the house. So they're like, they think they own us. Um, they're doing really good. They are being spayed and neutered on the 23rd of this month. Uh, weather being, if I can get there, if unless it, Mother Nature pulls another dilly on us again. Um... So they're doing really good. I only have one that I'm worried about and it's this one. If worst case scenario happens and she cannot go in for spay neuters, um, I am going back on February the 6th or March the 16th for, for Grace's kids and she could go in. I know it, this is bad. And I also wanna give a shout out. This little guy is going to live with Lisa and her husband. And Lisa is in the hospital right now and um, kind of having a tough time. So Lisa, we want you to know that uh, you're in our prayers and that we are wishing all the best thoughts your way and we know that God's in control. So we're pray praying for the doctors to have guidance in getting all your issues cleared up. So uh, your little girl is doing fine. We're gonna start with her. See, you're a pistol too. I think she's the fattest one in here. Yeah, look at that. She says it's got pretty coat. I honestly think she's going to turn out almost like a buff. It will not surprise me. Where's this one? This is called a Wheaton. This color is a Wheaton. And it will not surprise me if underneath here she doesn't turn Wheaton. Maybe keeps the black tips like a sable. It's, I know what I see you. I see you. It's really hard to tell. Um, I, I know. You're just, I, I know you too. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wound your cord too tight and turned you loose. Oh my goodness. They're not spoiled, let me tell you. They are not spoiled at all. But this is Lisa. This is the, the blue collar. <laughs> You're just a snot. And let me get tell you, when you get them home, I don't care if they are little and cute, I still use a fly swatter on them here. So They've got to learn, I know your leg is caught. They've got to learn some manners and boundaries and limitations, even if they are stupid cute. And you just think, oh, they're just, they're just little angels. They're not angels. They're piranha on four feet. All right, let's try this. We're going to see what this one weighs. One pound. Oh, you got to weigh more than that. Come over here. You are too fat. Oh, my scale's stupid. Okay, it's on kilograms. All right, hold on. Somebody has stepped on the dial. Oh no, I turned it off. Oh, I do that all the time. Okay, let's go on off. You guys are too helpful. Yeah. I know, get away, get away. All right, let's wait till it comes to zeros. There we go, let's get units. Oh, there we go, we got pounds now. I knew you weighed more than one pound. Good heavens, you're fat. All right, let's turn this around. Okay, this is <laughs> three pounds oh my goodness sake two point stop 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 the last bunch was like this whoa safe hey three pounds 2.2 pounds yes we made it we made it okay yes i know come up, come up here come up here mouthy thank you <laughs> let's see how, that's the biggest let's see the littlest so this is the yellow collar pup. I know. And oh, by the way, they are totally weaned. They are not with Bindi anymore at all. Uh, they're eating us out of cottage cheese. And if you ask me how much we give them, we give them two great big heaping tablespoons right now, and it's gone. I mean, they're woofing it. And I only do it once a day. I only give it to them in um, a bowl separate from their dog food. I do not put it in their dog food. All right, so let's see where she's at. She is at two pounds, I think we're gonna make it. She's at two pound, six something, two pound, 6.6, .6, 
6.4, we're gonna make it. Uh, we will make sure she makes it. We will stuff your gut this week. Whoa. <laughs> we will give you some good old fashioned fat hamburger. That'll get you, that'll get you up there. But if you can feel her belly, these little bellies are huge. Yeah, and you got a huger belly. Yours is a huger one, isn't it? This is because you're fat. Sounds hollow. <laughs> it's hollow. <laughs> All right, who's behind me? Where's the wheat? There she is. I'm up here. I love this color. I think she's the first really good wheat that we've had. Two pounds. Go away. This one's going to make it too, I think. Two pounds, nine. Oh my gosh, come on. Two pounds, two pounds eight to two pounds nine point two. So she's gonna make weight too. I'm pretty sure. What? <laughs> I know you're the vocal. I will tell you, it's really bad if you talk back to them and make the noises they do, because you'll teach them to become that little dog that, like your child, every time you're on the phone, it's going mom, 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 mom. And that's what she's gonna do. So when she looks at you and jabbers at you, don't jab her back. Now, now I'm not saying we do that. Oh no, not we'd never do that. Um, all right, this is three pounds. Oh no, we're over three. Let me turn you this way. Three pounds, one point four. Hi, Munchkin. All right, I want to come here. Ooh, get a handful of hair. Let me show you faces. What? so fun at this age they really are they're cute as a button and they're just fun uh i know and you're just it's fun remember when this one was the scared one that wouldn't do anything and lay down here on the floor i tell everybody that i get calls when their puppy is laying on the floor hiding its face and it's about three to four weeks old i tell them just wait just wait this is just a normal puppy thing we have one out about about every litter somebody is like the the leap the wilting leaf that lays in the corner and just doesn't want anybody to look at it, don't look at anybody. You know what, this is not a good thing to do. No, 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 good, go away. Um, so we aren't letting them do bad things though, I can tell you. But, you know, the jab, she's a jabber box. Oh yeah, and so are you. They're all jabbery. They all like to look at you and talk to you. If you like that and you encourage it, you'll have it their entire life. So it just depends on <laughs> it just depends on what you want in your dog. If you don't want the jabbering at you all the time, then don't do it. Just ignore it. Um, and I know it's hard. They're super cute at this age. I don't like the biting. I do stop that. I, I do not tolerate. <laughs> I do not tolerate biting at all. So nipping and biting has got to go, doesn't it? Has to go, has to go. Yeah, do you finally have teepers? Oh yeah, we got sharp ones in there now. See, we got sharp ones in there now. <laughs> she's been this way ever since she was born. She is, she might be little, but she's mighty. And she's not afraid of anything. So yeah, you're too bold for your own good, aren't you? Yeah, you're a stink pot. You're a stink pot. I know it. I get you. Oh, get your faces. Hey. Psst. Psst. No. No. Uh, we've been working on no bark, no bite, no lick. Those are the big things that I don't like from a puppy. When I own a puppy, she says, give me the toy. I want it. Um, they're very playful. You're going to need to run their energy off. So if the weather's really super bad and you don't want to go out, then you're gonna need to either give them a ball, teach them to play with a couple um, um, tennis balls. And they have small tennis balls that are great for their size and roll them down the hall. Let them learn to chase the ball down the hall and really praise it when it brings it back, get it to let go, then praise it when it lets go and maybe give it a treat and then throw it again. Do it till their little legs drop off. You need to wear this spent up energy off, you really do. And um, it's so much better for them if they, because they'll just get into anything and everything. Also, with these guys being the size they are, when you are not playing with them, lock them up. Do not leave them loose in your house. 
put them in an X pen or put them in their pen, give them something to chew on. Uh, they are used to uh, bones. We've been, and they're all trained to eat carrots. They love carrots. So every day we have a great big bag of carrots chopped in these little tiny circles. And we take just a whole handful and throw them in the kennel. And within about five, six minutes, they're all gone. They love carrots. We started everybody on carrots so that you don't have to buy expensive treats if you don't want to. Something as simple as a carrot to them, they think it's great. You could use them for a training treat. You could also start them on green beans. I have... I haven't, <laughs> I haven't given them anything besides uh, carrots, but if you'd start them on green beans, they'll do the same thing. You can also do apple chips. Uh, if you're having an apple, cut them up some small pieces. And um, <laughs> the biggest thing I can tell you is please stay away from table food. Don't feed them anything you eat on your table that has been cooked. Uh, you think that they're, oh, they'll be jealous, they'll be upset. It's a dog. It does not know what you're doing. They do not have jealous feelings. Um, you're going to kill them with kindness because especially these little ones are prone to, prone to pancreatitis. So anything you feed them that you have cooked, you change the chemistry of whatever you've cooked and you run the chance of pancreatitis. Once you get pancreatitis, it will throw you into MedVet. It will cost you thousands of dollars. And I will tell you that 90% of the time you lose your dog. If you don't lose the dog and they save it, then about the next six months to a year later, you have diabetes in your future for the rest of the dog's life. So if you're bound, you've got to give them a treat. No scrambled eggs, no pieces of cooked bacon. Um, if you're going to give them something and you're making hamburger, give them some raw hamburger. If you're grilling steaks, cut a piece of the fat off. Uh, give them the fat off the steak. Their gut is made for raw. It is not made for cooked. I know. I see you. I see you. What? Bad. Oh. <laughs> um, so, for your own good and for the life of the dog, get. I hope you get 15 years out of your puppy. You will not if you feed it table food. So, oh good. Get right up there. Three pounds, 1.4. Ta-da! 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 She says, what is that? What is that? It's me. Um, so, anything that's in your house, like carrots, uh, green... <laughs> she is... <laughs> She's so funny. 13. She's like this. She's like this all day. It never stops. Uh, until they sleep. 13. And then if they see us, they're right back out on the floor doing it again. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed your video. I probably am not doing another set of pictures for them because I just did you um, Valentine's pictures. So, we'll probably do a video next week and then the following week they're going to go in for their spay and their neuters. And, no, I guess it's next week they go in for spay and neuters. So, yeah, I'm not doing another set of pictures for them. But, um... If you have any questions, please give me a call. I am sending out all your videos today. So if you don't have them by this evening at night, <laughs> this evening at nine o'clock, text me and say, hey, I didn't get my videos. <laughs> She's so funny. You're bad. You're just a bad booger. You know what? I'm gonna pin you down. What are you gonna do now? Huh? What are you gonna do now? 14. All right. So they're fun. I think we have a good time with them. Um, oh, I know. You, you didn't get any attention with that one. I'm so sorry. Um, lots of chewy toys. Lots of uh, things. Change their toys every day. We give them new toys. They will go home with a toy here that they've played with here and that smells like home, our home. And uh, that way they've got something to go home and snuggle with at night when they go to sleep. So have a good day. Uh, I hope you're not in for the snow that we're going to get today and tomorrow and Thursday, but um, we'll send, we'll put some po pictures on the Facebook page, on um, our kennel Facebook page if it gets really bad. So have a good one and enjoy the snow. Make snow angels. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.